road to GH will reveal Brennan's lingering doubts about Sidwell's supposed death following the WSB attack in Africa. The discrepancies between what he heard and what he felt gnawed at him, compelling him to uncover the truth behind the incident. After conducting a discreet investigation, Brennan's worst fear was confirmed. Sidwell was still alive. The realization that Sidwell, whom Brennan had believed to be buried, was actually alive left him deeply unsettled. Memories of the past, schemes yet to unfold, and WSB's buried secrets now posed a greater threat than ever before. Brennan understood that this revelation wasn't just a danger to him, but also to everyone involved. Beyond his concern about Sidwell's survival, Brennan was also haunted by Holly's unexpected return. Once a loyal servant and right hand of Sidwell, she had always followed his commands without question. During her time with Sidwell, Holly had proven herself sharp and steadfast, showing no sign of betrayal. But suddenly, she returned to Port Charles, and as far as Brennan knew, she had cut ties and betrayed Sidwell without any clear explanation. Brennan realized that someone as deeply invested as Holly couldn't change so easily without a compelling reason. This raised even deeper suspicions within him. With the shrewdness of a seasoned player in the treacherous world of power plays, Brennan wasn't one to be deceived by appearances. Holly's return, in his eyes, wasn't merely a break from Sidwell to reclaim a normal life. She had too much to lose by betraying a dangerous man like Sidwell. Brennan refused to believe the justifications and seemingly logical narratives Holly presented. Something wasn't right. Deep down, Brennan sensed that Holly was hiding something. Perhaps her secret was not only connected to Sidwell, but also to WSB, entangling the entire underground network in which Brennan was gradually getting immersed. Holly, with her abrupt return, seemed to be playing a larger game than anyone could guess. Brennan knew he had to be extremely cautious. Holly might be plotting something dangerous, and if he didn't remain vigilant, he could easily become a pawn in her treacherous game. His instincts told him that not only was Sidwell a threat, but Holly herself carried a piece of the truth he had to uncover at all costs. After Brennan discovered that Holly had not only betrayed Sidwell, but also stolen a large cache of diamonds from him, his suspicions turned into harsh reality. The diamonds, not only immensely valuable, but also key to Sidwell's underground operations, made Holly a target for both Sidwell and anyone else involved in the criminal world. Brennan quickly devised a cunning and calculated plan. He knew that facing Sidwell head-on was a dangerous option, but with the diamonds in his possession, he could shift the balance of power. His plan wasn't merely to rob Holly. He intended to do everything, discreetly, so that no one could trace his actions back to him. Brennan quietly followed Holly's movements, tracking her every step as he prepared to capture her at the perfect moment. Brennan knew Holly wouldn't be easy to handle. She had worked for Sidwell, one of the most dangerous men in the world, and had surely developed a heightened sense of vigilance. Thus, Brennan had to act subtly, slowly, drawing her into the trap he had meticulously set. First, he had an associate approach Holly, making her believe she was safe and that no one was watching her. Then, Brennan created a series of minor incidents that forced Holly to retreat further into hiding, all the while closing in on her. Finally, at the moment when Holly believed she, she had completely evaded any pursuit, Brennan struck. He had his men capture her and take her to a hidden location where no one could find her. With Holly now in his control, Brennan believed he held all the cards. But he didn't just want the diamonds. He wanted to extract every secret Holly was hiding, including information about Sidwell and the underground operations she had been involved in. After seizing the diamonds, Brennan didn't stop there. He knew Sidwell's wrath was inevitable, and to protect himself from it, he devised an even more intricate plan. Brennan was fully aware of Sidwell's ruthless nature, knowing that he would never forgive a traitor. To avoid becoming Sidwell's next target, Brennan decided to act preemptively. Instead of continuing their rivalry, Brennan chose a clever strategy. He would deliver Holly to Sidwell, shifting all the blame onto her. Brennan methodically prepared his approach to Sidwell, knowing that it would catch him off guard. Not many dared to face Sidwell after crossing him, but Brennan understood how to turn the situation to his advantage. 
he crafted a flawless story, painting Holly as the villain who had deceived him, manipulating Brennan into attacking Sidwell. With the diamonds in his possession, Brennan held even more leverage in the upcoming confrontation. When the time came, Brennan approached Sidwell with calculated confidence. He handed over Holly, now bound and helpless, with no means to defend herself. Brennan's plan was to portray himself as a victim who had been misled, an unwitting participant drawn into someone else's dangerous plot. The diamonds Holly had stolen were now back in Brennan's hands, further reinforcing the story he had spun, making it difficult for Sidwell to doubt him. In Sidwell's eyes, Holly was no longer the loyal ally he once trusted. Her betrayal combined with the evidence Brennan presented only fueled Sidwell's growing rage. Brennan, knowing this, seized the moment to prove that he wasn't an enemy, but someone eager to make amends. He deftly avoided Sidwell's wrath, positioning Holly as the scapegoat. By handing over both Holly and the diamonds, Brennan successfully shielded himself, at least for the time being. He had not only escaped Sidwell's suspicions, but also secured a position where he could potentially control future events. However, Brennan understood that this was only one move in a much larger game, and the road ahead was still fraught with danger.